Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. The very first thing we want to do is we must remove these fractions. Look at the numbers at the denominator, the bottom number 6, 3, and 2. Ask yourself, what is the least common denominator for these numbers. And obviously our least common denominator is 6. Sometimes we call LCM, least common denominator and least common multiple. So since it turns out to be 6 as a least common denominator, we're going to multiply across the board by 6 to remove these fractions. So this 6 and 6 is gone. Over here, 3 goes into 6 twice. So over here, 2 goes into 6 3 times. So our simplified quadratic equation is going to look like. So this is our quadratic equation. And we will be using now our quadratic formula to solve for x. And here is the quadratic formula that we will be using. And here are our coefficients a equals to 1, b equals to negative 4, and c equals to negative 15. Let's go ahead and plug it into this quadratic formula. So x is going to be equal to minus, and then b is negative 4 plus or minus b square is going to be negative 4 square minus 4 times a is 1, c is negative 15, everything is divided by 2 times 1. So let's go ahead and simplify it more. So it's going to be negative and negative become positive 4 plus minus. This is going to be 16 plus this is going to be positive 60 divided by so this is going to be a 4 plus minus square root of 76 divided by 2. Now I want you to look at this part, square root of 76, which could be written as, I can factor it out, 4 times 19, and I can break this radical up, 4 and 19. And we know the square root of 4 is 2 square root of 19. So I can replace this square root of 76 as 4 plus minus 2 square root of 19. And here I can put 2, I can split it up as well. So the next step is going to be over here. So x is going to be, so this could be simplified, 2 plus minus 2 and 2 are gone, square root of 19. So thus our one of the, so I want you to split them up over here, this positive and negative sign. So this could be written as one of the solution is going to be x equal to 2 plus square root of 19. The other solution is going to be, x equal to 2 minus square root of 19. And here is our complete solution set. 2 plus square root of 19 and 2 minus square root of 19. However, if you want your solution in terms of decimal, then we can do that thing as well. And if we use a calculator, our value for square root of 19 turns out to be approximately equal to 4.36 and we can plug it in over here to get our decimal value. And this is our solution in terms of decimal. One solution is approximately equal to 6.36 and the other one is negative 2.36. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.